What's up YouTube? Marvin Four here with Great American Survival and in today's video I'm going to be telling you all about the Ascend 10T kayak. Now this has been an exceptional kayak. We got it at the beginning of 2020. And guys, I've had it on the water three times. Stick with us. I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. First off, we're going to start up here on the front of the boat, up on the bow. Now the bow has a front grab handle, which is really nice, really well made, you know, real heavy duty, got good texture to it, easy to grab. Countersunk makes it easier for you to get your hand in there, even if you had on gloves, you know, a lot of room. Uh, you do have on the front bow area right here, you do have four D-rings, uh, which allows you to put like a cargo net or some bungees in, to hold your gear down. You could put your battery box up front if you were going to run a fish finder. Or you could just, if you were going on a camping trip, you wanted to stuff all your gear and your dry bags, stuff it up front, all the way up front. It's all the way to, away from your feet. Your feet will be still back here a ways. And it's just got a huge area. Now the boat itself is 10 feet long by 31 inches across and 12 inches in thickness from the bottom up, you know, which is nice. One, it makes it easy to stack and easy to carry on a cart. Like if you put it on the root on a roof rack or anything like that, that is huge. There's no weird clefts in the top. Everything's flat. It's really nice. It really works out really well the way it's designed. Sometimes they're not like that. I have a lot of kayaks that are a little different. Some of them have flare marks, which you know make it for like paddle holders, things like that. But this one's kind of flush when it comes to that. So that's a plus in my mind so far. Um, it is nice and I do like it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go a little further back. It is, it does have a huge area. And when you walk up, you can walk all the way up to this area. I walked all the way in front right here and it not tipped over. Uh, come winter, um, more in the spring and the summer, I'll plan on seeing how far, if I can stand all the way up front. Now, when we move back to the next area, now this is where your foot box and all that's going to be. This part is really, really nice. The foot pegs are really easy to adjust. Really, you know, just squeeze and move forward. I really like that. That's really nice. It works great. Um, one thing I really liked about this, as opposed to the model before this, is it has these traction pads. Uh, the first one I got, my traction pads were loose. Actually, the very first one I got had hull damage. Oh, that's a whole nother story. This one came, then the second one came and the traction pads were all peeling off. So made a call, uh, Bass Pro sent me another one, had it shipped to my house, awesome. This one right here, I have had no other issues with it. The, there is a left, right, and center track mount. Now these are accessory rails, which allow you, like this right here is a Scotty fish finder um, mount, which allows you to put your little, this is a, Garmin Striker 4 and it allows you to mount your your screen goes here and then this part goes down in the water and you can adjust it forward and backwards really nice easy setup I like the track mounts and I love the fact that they're flush they don't stick up a bunch so when you're not using them they're not in your way very nice I like that a lot Next, we get back here, and this is your dry storage area. You also have this big cup holder. Um, makes it great for big Powerade and water bottles, things like that. Nalgene bottles fit in there once. This is the only dry storage. Now, this is going to be the biggest negative, I will say, about this boat, is the fact that this is the only thing it has. It has these wonderful little trays up here with the scubber plugs and all that, which allow you to throw some stuff up here, and it's going to bail out. I love that aspect of it. I don't understand why they didn't do that here, Everything else around here is self-bailing. I'll show you the one in the back. Everything else bails out. I don't understand why you would put the cup holder like it is and not make it where it was just right there too. It would just be easier. The mounts itself are really nice. In here, I do keep my scubber plugs. It did come with six, which is great because especially in the colder weather, you're going to want them. They come in really handy and they're really easy to do. Now, you can remove this, which does allow you to have access to the inside of your boat which comes in handy if you're gonna run any type of wiring, you want that something along those lines. 
The boat itself also has these left and right side grab handles. And I love the fact that they're on the inside. When you're up in your chair, these are still gonna be out of, almost out of your way. Where you're not gonna hit them or anything like that. I don't understand why they didn't just roto mold them into this and make a, put the handle in it, make it out of plastic. Would have been a great setup. I really would have liked that. Maybe next year. Now this is where your seat's gonna go. And these are your adjustments. These are the little latch, little latch points for your seat to lock into. Now this is the only thing that keeps your seat from going anywhere. I would have loved to have seen them install some type of pad eye and throw some type of leash across it to keep it from going anywhere because the seat is really well made. I really like the seat. Now I will say the first one I got, this right here didn't even work. You couldn't put the seat in here. So, but I can't really compare. I'm not gonna say anything negative because they fixed it. They gave me a better one and this one does not have that problem. Now I would have liked the seat to be adjustable in height, have a high and a low setting. There are tons of uh, mods out there where people tell you how to do that. I haven't done that with mine and it does sit really, really low, but it's not that bad. I still can easily stand up. I haven't installed a pull handle or anything like that or a grab handle or whatever you want to call it to help me stand up. I haven't done one of those yet. I probably will, but everything else about this so far has been really well done. They've got this other little accessory tray on both sides, Just bails out, I like that. You've got two flush rod holders, both rearward facing. So if you were gonna troll, you could do that. They've got these little leash attachments, which make it where you can attach a leash to your, your fishing rod. And you know, whether it's something as simple as a little S beaner and a little bungee, whatever you wanna use. Next, we get back here into the rear area. Now back here in the stern of the boat, you have four more D-rings, which are really nice. It makes it where if you're gonna carry a, a fishing crate or a cooler or anything along those lines, you're, you're going to be have a good setup. It's easy to set up. Huge area. I mean, just a huge area. You got to remember, your seat's going to end right here. You know? So this is really nice. It does have a rear grab handle, and it also has a rear drain plug, which is a necessity, especially when you go putting rod holders in things, because most of them, a lot of the rod holders have holes in the bottom of them, so they don't fill up with water, which means it ends up in your boat. Also, whenever you go to put any type of accessory in it, you're gonna end up putting more holes in your boat. And that's just part of kayaks. You can easily fix it, but that's not what we're talking about. This is a nice boat, real big, lots of room to stand. I'll show you, you know, that's standing room. You gotta remember, this is where your traction pads are gonna be. This is where you're supposed to stand. Really nice, easy to look at. You can move way up. I've been all the way up here and been very comfortable fishing. Very nice, very nice. It's a very stable boat. Now I'm gonna show you the bottom of it and that'll explain a lot of this. Now this is where this boat shines. Now this is a very stable boat. It's not gonna track great. Now I have noticed it does track well the more you load it down, the more, more weight you do, which uh, I think it's rated for 325, which is not a lot. Uh, 325 pounds is not a lot, but that's what it's rated for. But this, you, the, the hole design is what does it. This tunnel hole and uh, these little blowouts right here, which make it where it tracks really, really well. I've been impressed with it. I like the boat. I think it could easily have been done, done a few things different, but is it an improvement from the last boat? Yes. I think this is a huge improvement of the original 10T, and I think they have done uh, uh, taken a huge step in the right direction. As you see, the complete the front to rear keel keel guard. I would have liked it to had a better keel guard. Uh, the rear of the boat, you can easily install all kinds of stuff because of the big flat rear. As you see, that's your scubbers from the bottom. Just a nice, nice design. Now this boat comes, has a price point of less than $500. Now, and that's huge. This boat weighs, I think it's 67 pounds. It's a little heavier than I thought it was. Made in the USA and it's roto molded, as I said before, but that makes it great. Uh, roto molded, one, it makes it where you can easily repair your plastic without having to go all crazy and have to buy anything high end. 
but the plastic itself is really well done. It's not really thin. I haven't had any issues like we had with some of our other Ascend models with it having thin plastic and cracking, especially when it comes to the seat. That's what we're gonna talk about next. Now this is the seat. Now the seat folds up really low. I like the fact that when it's on the boat, the seat folds up and it's almost flat. It's almost flush with the top. New improvement in the seat. It now has this little more lumbar support and it's a little higher, especially if you're wearing a PF, when you're wearing your PFD. Very comfortable, very easy to use. I like the seat. I love the fact that it's all fabric along here and then it's got reinforcement across here. So when it gets wet, it's gonna help dry it out even faster. The chair is really nice. I love the fact that it's a removable chair that you could take out, sit on the beach somewhere or on the riverside and relax and eat your lunch or whatever you're doing. Very nice, easy to use, and it's comfortable. As you see, this is what I'm talking about. See how it sits right across? It's not out way out here where your shoulders can't roll back. As you see, it hits just below your shoulders and it's just, it's, it's got the padding in places that you want it. It's nice. It sits really easy. It's way up in the back, up where I was talking about. Very nice. Easy chair. You just have these little cinch straps that move it forward if you want to move forward a little more. If you're wanting to chill out and relax a little more, you're going to lay back. But these little bump stops are going to stop you eventually. Very nice. Now, the whole, now this chair is made in China. I will say that. But being with what it is, I haven't had any issues with the chair. Very comfortable, very easy to use. I like the chair. Well guys, before I forget, the one thing I want to emphasize, if you plan on purchasing a kayak of any sort, the first thing you need to make sure you buy is a personal flotation device. Your PFD is the most important thing you'll have with you on the water. Don't hit the water without one. I've seen wonderful, amazing weekends go horribly wrong, guys, okay? Also, one of the things I didn't mention is when I bought mine, I bought myself a 240 centimeter paddle. That works really well for this seat, the way as high as it is. Now, if you plan on modifying it and raising it up any, you're gonna need something a little longer. But I'm six foot, have a long torso, 240 centimeters is perfect for me. It has been awesome for this kayak. Now, the one thing I will say is if you're looking at getting into a kayak, this is a great price point, less than $500. I only paid less than $400 for mine when I got it last year at Christmas time. This, this thing's been awesome. I do plan on doing some more videos and telling you all about the water tests we're gonna do, take it fishing, show you guys some more of that, show it with it all rigged up with the fish finders and all that. It's gonna be awesome, guys. I hope if you're new to our channel, you'll hit the subscribe button, join our community. We'd love to have you be part of it. And guys, thank you for tuning into this video. We couldn't do this without you. Make sure that you take time to spend time outside in nature and kayaking is a great activity to do that with, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great week. And remember to get out there, Enjoy yourself, enjoy nature, be prepared, stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.